Hi, in this video I will show you what's new in the draft X-ray and uh, this is influenced by the Blender conference video about the snapping. So let's say this is the high poly mesh and I can connect the low poly points like that. This is like the Blender, Blender default behavior and the issue is that we lose some volume in the bottom and we lose some volume on the top. And the X-ray, draft X-ray had this uh, offset distance parameter that it could compensate the uh, behavior and bad behavior. So for example, in here, it would look like that. So we would get smaller on average distance between low poly and high poly. But then if we move to the bottom part, you see the effect is even now worse than previously. So uh, the top part is okay. And in the next update, in this update, I changed the behavior. So on the flat points, it will move the uh, the retopo mesh closer to the original position. But in the uh, bottom part, it will move this slightly down, and we get we will get the result like this. So it will get better approximation with low poly mesh with the new algorithm. So let's test this out. If I enable x-ray, enable snapping. I can move those verts one by one and snap. I can uh, select everything, G to grab and cancel movement to snap everything at all at one time. I can select also everything and then increase the snap offset. And this will offset every selected point. Uh, so we get a better uh, result. The top part is looking okay, just like in the past. But now you see, you see in the bottom in here, those uh, verts were instead of moving outside, they are moved inside. If I show you with the X-ray overlay, you will see on average this will give smaller distance between low poly and high poly. Uh, let's see how this would look if we add the subdivision modifier and what i wanted to show is that with subdivision it is not looking good the some parts were moved inside some outside and uh, draft x-ray now will uh, know that it will search for subdivision modifier and if i snap now it will correctly compensate for the subdivision modifier uh, so now rather than selecting everything grab cancel and I wanted to show you that there is the event for snapping. By default, it is using geometry update, but you can switch to geometry and selection update. So now if I select anything, it will snap as soon as I select. So I can select everything and everything will be snapped. So there is this option. Uh, so uh, let's see how this would look now without the subdivision. You see the add-on compensated the shrinkage, shrinkage of the subdivision modifier by moving some verts outside and some deeper inside. So it is not looking good without subdivision, but with subdivision it will look great. Uh, so just uh, imagine from the start if you want to use subdivision, add subdivision modifier and add-on will take care of proper placement of the verts. Uh, also, I wanted to show you that, for example, let's say we have this gap, and I want to I want to add a loop in here, and this loop looks like it is snapped correctly, but this is not looking the best, and this is also not looking the best. I could move those one by one to compensate, but now there is uh, there is the option in the snapping to enable and affect neighbors. So with affecting neighbors enabled, if I add loop, it will now snap not only the new geometry, but it will also take care of the adjacent geometry. Uh, so, okay. Uh, I think that everything I showed you what I wanted about uh, the new snapping. Also, uh, I made and fixed the F2 add-on, so it will no longer lag with draft x-ray. Uh, we'll see if this will be included in Blender. Uh, maybe, hopefully, but for now I will uh, I will include this uh, patched and fixed version of F2 add-on with the draft x-ray. And maybe let's switch to the different object. I will add plane 
and I want to use this as low poly to retopology the body. So we place this here. And uh, okay, so I will enable uh, go to edit mode. And as soon as I will move anything, it will lag. The lag is caused by calculation of the snapping cache, but now everything is fast. Uh, so maybe uh, sometimes I think you could maybe snap some low poly object to some high poly object because maybe you do not want always to snap your low poly to everything. Uh, in the past, with the rough X-ray, you could snap only to one object, one selected object. Now in this version, you can select uh, to snap to collection of objects, or you can also snap to all object on the scene. Uh, so maybe I want to snap only to head and to the body. So I can uh, move them to the new collection called body. And then in the snap target for this object, I can tell it to use collection body. Now the issue with that is that now all, all objects that I will jump into, like if I jump to the first object, now it is also using this collection for snapping. So this is not good. I want different object for this low body. And uh, to the way around this is to uh, for uh, uh, use in the global settings, I can switch to use all objects. So by default, global settings are used. But if for this object, I can select unique settings, enable snapping. And for this unique object snapping, I can tell it to snap to the body. So now only this one object, uh, only this object will snap to the body of the character. And the low poly object on the first layer, it will use the global settings where it will snap to all the objects visible on the, for him, for this object. Uh, so yeah, I can add. Uh, control 2 to add subdivision, then add mirror, and the mirror is not looking great. I have to apply the location, rotation scale, and I can work now. The advantage of setting separate uh, objects for snapping per object is that uh, for now we are not recalculating cache for all the objects on the scene. We are just recalculating cache for only those two uh, objects in the body collection. Uh, so sometimes people complain that they cannot see the overlay. Maybe use Control Shift N and see if your normals are not flipped. In my case, actually, if I zoom in, I cannot see the overlay. In my case, the issue is that in the viewport, I have to reduce uh, the snap clip clip start distance. If I reduce this, I can zoom in and there is no longer issue. And uh, yes, so this is how you can work with different settings for different objects. So maybe maybe I can uh, show you how I would uh, retopole the uh, skirt faster. Uh, so let's jump. Let's jump to this object in here. And I see the result is not looking great. We have the subdivision, but I think the offset is not enough. So I will jump to the snap offset, increase this 0, 0.8. Now, now maybe slightly too much. But this is how you deal with those settings. And this snap offset is only used for this single object because you are using unique settings for this object. Uh, okay, so let's retopo also the skirt. I can add new plane, retop, move this. And in for this object, I can tell it to snap to this skirt. So I will select unique settings, enable snapping. And it lags because it is calculating now cache for all the objects. I will switch to single object. Skid. Uh, did, did I did it correctly? Yes, I think. Okay. And now if I retopo, 
that is now snapping to this object in here. So yeah. Uh, and uh, thanks to this now we we can work faster because now I can uh, switch maybe to this object. It will snap to the head and ca the calculation of the snapping uh, cache was quite fast because it did, did not have to calculate the snapping cache for all the objects in the scene. Uh, so, okay, some, some in here, I do not like the results of snapping. Sometimes it is better to use instead of surface nearest, surface projected. So, yeah. So, I think this works better. Just note that if you use the method surface projected, you don't have the option in here to adjust the neighbors. And yes, this is what we get. I could extrude those, merge them. Let's see. We had uh, move the mirror above. So now we get proper result. And you get the idea. Uh, hope you liked this uh, update. And see ya.